we are going to get started. We're going to start off with some stretching. So we're going to go nice and wide. We're going to reach up nice and tall. And we're going to come all the way down to the ground. As far as we can. We're going to hang out here. Wiggle side to side. And walk your hands to one side. And walk your hands to the other side. Come back to center and roll it up. Bring one arm up and over, grab that elbow. And switch. Good. Go ahead and grab a foot. Grab a wall if you need it. I just like to put my hand out because it looks like my hand's on the wall. It's not. Window. Okay. I'm in a weird mood. Don't judge. <laughs> All right, go ahead and switch. All right, wrists and ankles. You should get both feet and both ways of twisting, twirling. We're going to do some hip hinges, so opening up to the side, in and out. Whew. Hope you guys are having an awesome Friday. Good, and we'll do straight legs, reach across, so we'll do legs, opposite hand, opposite leg. Good, we'll bring it down to the windmill, so the next one, reach across and down. Come up, cross. Good, and stretch out whatever else you need to. Oh. So, let me switch our song here to something a little bit more upbeat. Opposite hand comes down, 
So we're on our knees. Down, circle, and up. So these push-ups are not very deep. Down, push up, circle. <laughs> no, I can't even talk. I gotta concentrate. Make sure you are switching sides. Oh, oh we made it. All right, we got a hip bridge. So again, make sure you have some slightly room. We're gonna be up, towers under our left foot. We're gonna kick it out to the side. Back straight and in. So out, side, back straight and in. My booty is lifted this entire time. So out, to the side, back and in. Down. 
booty is getting us lower. Try to keep those knees behind the toes. Okay, I got a dog hair on my nose. <laughs> Good. Take your time. 15 seconds. Keep that core engaged. Good. We're almost there. Good. Step off your pillow. You're going to grab that towel again. We're going to do pikes with our towel. So your feet are going to go on the towel. You're going to need a plank, and then you're going to hike it up as tall as you can towards your hands with your legs straight, and then you're going to push it back. So, <laughs> hike it up, and then push it back. If that's too much, you can walk it up, caterpillar style, and then walk it back. Just kind of scoot it back, too. So, up, and then back. Good, if you need to, take a rest, roll out those wrists. If you can't do this because your wrists hurt, you can always do a V up, which is this one. So you're nice and long here, and then folding here. So that is your other option if your wrists hurt too much. All right, what we got? Lunge and twist with the pillow. All right, we're doing forward lunges, but you can also do reverse lunges as well. So step it forward, you're going to twist over that front leg and back. Step forward, twist over the front leg and back. Make sure that knee is not going way past your toe. Should be nice and in line with that ankle. Also make sure that you are on train tracks, stepping forward, not a tightrope, stepping in front. Good, we're almost there. Good. Press up and out. All right. So, you're going to use our pillow again as a weight with jumping jack legs. Out, up. Out, up. If you can't coordinate, you can always just do one side and then the other side. One side and then the other side. And that's um, better for you and less cardio. Because I did say it was going to be less cardio today, but I didn't realize how much cardio I had actually put in. <laughs> Almost there. Seven seconds. But the 
this is the last time we gotta do all this stuff, so. Yay. <laughs> Happy Friday. Almost there. Good, now we can go to the other side. that that's nice and straight so that we don't hurt ourselves. Kitty, it's always this side. What is going on? What is going on? You just want my towel. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Hi. Move my booty. Oh, thank goodness. Keep 
moving. Make sure it's in between your feet, not your knees. Ah. Ah. We have the rest around, you guys. Yay! Oh. Oh, goodness. Thank goodness. Whew. Ah. That's closed. <laughs> Barbies. With a pillow. 
You got this. You got this. Make sure your hands are not on the pillow if you are having them off to either side. Last thing, 30 seconds. Don't remember which way I was going. You got it, you got it, all the way. Remember, you can always step it back. When you are in that plank position, make sure that booty is not sinking down or still up in the air. All right, keep it nice and flat. Ding, ding, ding. All right. Um, if you didn't notice, we still have some time left for our 45 minute workout here. Um, and we didn't really do a whole lot of abs per se. Um, <laughs> what I'm getting at is we're going to do a plank challenge for the last little bit here. So, we're going to do 30 seconds. Not very long, but it's going to be enough. Um, with a five second rest, <laughs> just to get us into the next position. Um, and we're going to do one, two, three, four, five. Five different kinds here. So, hang on a second. So, we're going to get started with just a regular plank up on our hands. All right. I'm not ready, you guys. <laughs> you can throw the pillow off the side. Regular plank. Here we go. Up on those hands and on those toes. Making sure those hands are as wide as those shoulders and we are not... Um, Putting that booty up in the sky. We're keeping it nice and flat. Bringing that belly button in. Engaging through that core. Pressing away from that mat. Engaging the tops of our legs. Squeezing that booty. Four, three, two, and one. Good. We're gonna be down on our elbows for this next one. Two, and one. Here we go. Still up on our toes if you need to. You can drop it down to your knees. I know you can't really see my knees right now, but <laughs> you can drop it down to your knees if you would like. Uh, just make sure you're not in a box. So, uh, again, elbows are underneath those shoulders. We are not looking underneath for our toes. That booty's not in the air. We got 10 more seconds. Ah, I'm shaking. Ah, three, two, and one. Good, we got a side plank. I'm going to turn myself this side. You can choose one side or the other. Hand or elbow. Does not matter. Um, however, what matters is not. Don't do this. Don't do this side. All right. Nice and tall. Hand is underneath the shoulder. Other hand is up. Behind the head. On the hips. Um, but don't press it forward. Keep it lifted. I like to have my top leg um, forward. And then my underneath leg behind. If you need a little more help, you can always drop that knee to keep you lifted. Good. We're going to the other side. Woo. Here we go. Challenge is very challenging. <laughs> can you see, see me shaking? You should be shaking. You got it. You got it. Oh, the dripping sweat. Oh, it's awful. Seven seconds. Keep it up. Keep it up. Oh, shaking so bad. Three, two, one. Last one is the reverse plank. Hands are facing our booty. Lifting up. My legs are separated here. Pressing up. Making sure that we are still breathing and we're not crunching that chin down. Keeping it nice and open here. And breathe. It's our last one. It's our last one, you guys. Woo! You got it, you got it, you got it. Keep it up. Keep that booty lifted. Squeeze through the back of those legs. Press those heels into the mat. Three, two, one. Oh, and then just reach it forward. Relax those shoulders. Oh man. We're going to stretch 
out for the remainder of the time. <sighs> you can follow along with me in my stretches or you can do your own stretches. It does not bother me whatsoever. I'm going to make a figure four with my leg. I'm going to turn the music down a little bit. I appreciate it, but not right now. And then we're going to go straight on for those toes. Good. And then you're going to bring that hand that is on the same side as that straight leg on your knee and the other arm comes up and over. So a good twist here, keeping those shoulders open. And turn away 
opening up that chest. Thank you so much for working out with me on Mother's Day. 